I thought when I got married, like that's it. You have arrived. The culmination of love is courtship, dating. Yes, he actually wants to ask me to marry him. That means we're done. And what I've come to realize is that the day that you say your vows is the day you begin to start to learn how to love. It, 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 it's a clean slate at that point. Everything leading up to that moment has just been like a movie preview and not the actual narrative. <laughs> the actual narrative comes in that time. And that that process um, of learning how to be a me to a we uh, is a long process and it's paved with wounds. Um, it's paved with rich experiences together. It's paved with reconciliation and forgiveness. And I believe it's, it's one of the fullest expressions of what um, God really meant unconditional love to look like. And that sounds real fancy and fairy tale. It's not. It's in the hard things. It's in the who is going to do the dishes and why do you leave your crap there and what is going on with us and how come you don't talk to me. It's in the places of feeling deeply lonely within a marriage. Um, that doesn't get said much. and People think I'm lonely because no one's around me. But the loneliest people are often the people who actually feel like they shouldn't be lonely because of the life that they have. Um, those are the places where God starts to do really good work in our marriages. Um, I think that we have an opportunity to be sanctified, such a Christian-y word, but really refined. I think that word is refined. We learn about the process of being changed in the places of a marriage, in the deepest places of a marriage, the vulnerability, the exposure, the fights. How do we come back from fights? Don't try to not fight. Just try to come back from them. You know, how do we do that? How do I come back to this argument? I was with a young friend just yesterday and she said, oh my gosh, we had a huge fight. It was our anniversary. I said, well, how did you resolve it? She was like, um, it's not resolved. I was like, okay, good. I'm glad you know that. What are you going to do next? What are you going to do now? You're going to just let it go away, just float away, or are you gonna come back to it? And I said to her, here's a suggestion. What if you went back to your husband and said, um, you said this when we were arguing, can you tell me more about what you mean by that? And then that's it. Don't even, don't even explain what you meant. Just try to understand him. There's a good start. I said, and if that feels hard, it's because it is hard. It feels like it shouldn't be hard because it's the person you're married to, but it actually is hard. And that goes both ways. It's that continual process of not how we don't fight, but how we come back from fights, how we forgive, how we learn how to do that.